Australians come to terms with Trump's America. They held me for about 14 hours. Los Angeles border staff found an Iran visa in this Melbourne executive's passport. They escorted him to a Qantas flight home where he says the airline treated him like a criminal. And they said, you, you can't have a beer under your status. It's shades of, of World War II here, like Nazi Germany. Last year, Taekwondo Olympian Hader Shikara visited his dad's old home city, Baghdad. This year, the dual Australian Iraqi considered competing in the US. Not now. Personally, I don't think I would be getting into the US anytime soon, nor would I want to. But I am not about to run a commentary on other countries' practices. The Prime Minister chose not to join other Western leaders critical of the Trump immigration orders. Rather, his government is talking up tough borders. Our borders are secure. We are not complacent. Really, the rest of the world is catching up to Australia. At least one government MP wants the Trump approach here. I think we should discriminate uh, based on country of origin. In contrast, the Greens accuse the government of fawning over President Trump. Australia needs to uh, junk the US alliance. That's not likely. Speaking about his phone call with the President yesterday, Prime Minister Turnbull talked about a common determination, a unity of purpose, and how the Obama deal to take refugees from Manus and Nauru has survived. And I thank President Trump for his commitment to honour that existing agreement. Tim Lester, 7 News.